guys! Pretzel Cosplay here. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Today it's time for another tutorial. I want to show you how you can make cool animal ears for your cosplay using fake fur. So if you want to know how to do that, keep watching this video. Don't forget to like and subscribe. And then without further ado, let's get into the video! For this project we'll start with some fake fur. I bought mine at an online fabric shop, but I sometimes also find really beautiful fake fur on fabric markets. Before drawing your pattern for the ear on the fur, it's very important to check the direction of the hairs. I cut my pattern out of some pattern paper and now I'm using a chalk marker to draw it on the back of the fur. When cutting fake fur, I like to use a knife and cut on the back of the fur. Need to have a sharp knife, so I'm using my knife sharpener to sharpen my knife every now and then. Link the knife sharpener in the description below so you can also find it. It's really super helpful to have one. When I'm cutting the fur with my knife, I'm really making sure that I don't press too hard because I don't want to cut off the long hairs. I just want to cut through the fabric part that's on the back of the fur. You can also use scissors for this, but if you do that, then make really small cuts and only cut into the fabric piece and not into the hairs because then you will actually ruin your project right at the first step. As you can see, the hairs are still intact and nice and long. The ear that I already finished has different lengths of hair, as you can see here. But the ear that I just cut all has long hairs, so we need to change that. For trimming the hairs, I'm going to use my trimmer. This is actually a dog hair trimmer and it works great for fake fur. By turning the grip around, I can adjust how long I want the hairs to be after trimming. You see a slider moving up and down. Then I turn on the trimmer and just trim the hairs. I'm mainly trimming the hairs in the middle because I want the hairs on the sides to remain long. If you shave it differently, it can really determine how the end result of your ears will look like. This is also the moment where you can really tell the difference between high quality and lower quality fake fur. Because high quality fake fur has a lot more hairs. There are still some long hairs on the edges and we don't need that. So I'm taking some scissors and cut away those long hairs. These are actually scissors for cutting hair, which I will also link in the description below so you can find them too. They're really great for cutting the fake fur. Look, it already starts to look like the ears that we want to make. I'll go over it with the shaver again to trim the hairs on the sides a little more. This will make it easier later for actually sewing the two pieces of the ear together. This will reduce the bulk in the seams. Sometimes it's also a great idea to trim the hairs a little bit with a pair of scissors. Because if you use the scissors, you have more control over what you cut away compared to when you would use the shaver for this. Always a good idea to be careful and keep cutting away more and every time little pieces. Because of course you can always cut some extra pieces off, but you can never glue them back. To prepare for the sewing, I'm again cutting away some of the excess hairs on the sides. 
So now we finished the front of the ear, but we also need to shave the back of the ear. I want to keep some long hairs on the sides and the rest needs to be short. So let's get the shaver again. And trim the hairs short in the middle of the ear. When you're shaving fake fur, always wear some respiratory protection because you don't want to inhale all of those little fibers that will be flying around all over the place when you are shaving the fur. It's better to be safe than sorry. The shape a little bit by cutting some of the hairs off by hand with some scissors. When shaving fake fur, you will end up with a lot of shavings like this. But you can easily reuse them or recycle them, however you want to call it, by using them as stuffing for tails. Like this. Yay, it's so fluffy. Okay, it's now almost time to start sewing. So first we need to put the two pieces of the ear together and then take some pins to pin the two pieces together. Of course, you can also use clips for this, but I'm very old school and I just really like pins. You can find pins like this in every craft store or fabric store, but I will also link some below so uh, you can also get them online if you want. Disclaimer, the Amazon links are affiliate links, so I get a few tiny cents from it when you order with my links, so thank you. Then I can put it under my sewing machine. I'm using a Bernina sewing machine that's very strong and I really love it. It's the 330 if you're interested. It's really, it's, it's amazing. To throw everything and that's really, really handy for cosplay. For sewing through the fake fur, I'm using our normal needle in the sewing machine and I'm also using my walking foot. That's the sewing foot that you see here. Walking foot is really nice because it prevents the two layers of fabric from shifting while sewing. And that's just very helpful, especially when sewing strange fabrics. Some sewing machines will have this already built in, but mine doesn't. So I bought an extra foot for that. Now let's turn it inside out to see how the ear looks like. Ooh, exciting! Hmm, it still doesn't look so neat here, but we can fix that with a pincet. I'm just plucking the hairs out of the seams. So the edge of the ear will start to look fluffy again. Just how we want it. It's an easy step, but it's very important. As you can see, it really makes a difference. The edge of the ear looks much better now, after plucking out the hairs. Then let's flip the whole ear inside out again. And trim away the excess seam allowance to prevent it from being bulky. I'm using an old pair of fabric scissors for this. Now the seam allowance is very small and we can, again, flip the ear inside out. Some final adjusting here and there with the shaver to really bring the ear into the shape that I want. And now both ears look really symmetrical. I'm really happy with the results of these ears. And of course you can use this technique to make many other animal or fantasy animal ears. It's all basically the same steps to follow. To make the ear sturdy and make it stay in shape, we need something stable for inside the ear. For this I'm using Warbla. This is Warbla's finest art which is the brown warbler and I'm heating it up with my heat gun until it is approximately 70 degrees celsius and then it will become soft and flexible and sticky. I can shape it however I want and after it cools down it will stay in that shape and be hard again. 
It's a thermoplastic. It's really awesome. I will link the material down below. Now, to glue the piece of warbler into the ears, I'm using a glue called Flexbond and a brush to apply it onto the ear. So I'm just brushing it on the inside of the ear. And of course also on the outside of the ear. Then I'm taking the faux fur ear and I'm just shoving the warbler piece with the glue inside the ear. And I really press it onto it so it will make a bond. And I put some clips on the base so that the glue can dry and it will stay in shape. Then we're going to give the ears some shading and I'm using pastel chalks for this. This is a dark pink one and I'm just coloring some shading into the ears. It works really well on fake fur. You can also use hair chalk if you want or acrylic paint and just brush it on or you can even use an airbrush if you want. But I personally really like to use these chalks because they're super easy to use and they come in so many different colors. The shading continues until I'm happy with the results. I'm also adding some gray chalk to give some extra depth to the ears. I will take this opportunity to tell you that I also have an Instagram account where I share a lot of work in progress photos and videos and tips and tricks for cosplay. I'm also Pretzel Cosplay on Instagram, so if you want you can go there and give me a follow. Thank you so much! Back to the project. When I finish drawing all the shading on it, I will sew close the base of the ear. To do this, I'm just using a needle and thread and I sew it closed by hand. To be able to wear the ears on my head, I'm using a headband. I will link where you can find the headband down below in the description. And again, I'm using a needle and thread and I'm actually using a double thread so it's stronger. And then I'm just stitching it on by hand sewing. When I made enough stitches and I think it's strong enough, I will tie a knot. Well, actually I will tie multiple knots because I want this to be extra secure. And then I snip away the excess thread. Of course I need to do this here as well, so the full ear will be attached to the headband. When I have sewn both ears to the headband, I will also wrap some thread around the middle so that the ears will stay in place and don't fall down. And then we can test fit it onto the wig. Yay! <laughs> I really like how the ears turned out. They're super pretty and they really fit the character. To hide the headband in the final cosplay, I just put some strands of hair from the wig over the headband to hide it. And now it really looks like the ears are just coming out of my head, like they shoot. And again, you can use this technique for many other ear shapes. So now you know how you can make these cool ears using fake fur. And if you want to know how to make the whole costume, including the tails with the harness, then be sure to check out the tutorial that you can download from my website. I will link it in the description down below. Thank you so much for watching this video and I hope to see you in the next one. Bye bye!